how do you close out a decade of your life? And what does that have to do with Avengers Endgame? Well, watch this episode and find out. Hey, what's up everybody? Karim Mossaid here, the founder of Nerd Life Lab. And welcome back to the channel. This is the place where we share the tips, tricks, and techniques to unlock all of life's achievements. So if you're into a practical approach to having it all, then hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss a single video. So you know what's kind of crazy? We are wrapping up a decade of our lives. It's crazy, like just rewind yourself back 10 years of your life. Go back to the end of 2009, 2010. You know where I was at the end of 2009? I was just getting married and uh, my gosh, different world, totally different place in my life. 10 years, right? It's so long. And there's this trope in fiction, you know, the, the trope of the time skip. You know, whenever authors want to show some sort of major advancement in the world or in the characters or some kind of big change and, and show some dramatic effects, they do a time skip. Uh, the most recent example probably many people are familiar with is in Avengers Endgame, right? So after the snappening or the blip as they call it. They called it the blip. You know, the, they wanted to show what happened. People went from A to B. Life went from normal and then suddenly half of the world is gone how do we survive? What do we do? And it was tragic. And you know, the first hour of the movie, it was like, ugh, it was dragging because you were just like feeling the pain of losing half of the world. And so another example of this is in Naruto, right? So they had like the whole series and then suddenly there was this three year time skip to show some progression and, and make some changes, right? So it's a common thing that happens in these works of fiction to talk about change and progress and what happens. So. What I want you to do now is to play a little game with yourself. You know, go out into nature, go somewhere beautiful, like some fancy resort, you know, do something nice, right? Go somewhere nice and I want you to get your journal and just reflect and like think deeply about your life and about the last 10 years of your life. Really what I want you to do is ask three questions, okay? So the first question is, what am I grateful for? Like start with gratitude. What happened to you in these last 10 years. And oh my gosh, like, did you ever think your life would be like this when you got to this point? It's incredible to think what can happen in 10 years. And for many people who live, you know, average lifetimes, you, you've got a lot of those, right? And if you're like me and you're in your adult years, this is the prime time of your life where you have so many more of these, you know, God willing, that you're able to live out, you know, if you live out to an average lifespan. So what are you grateful for? Start with that sense of gratitude and reverence for the gift that was this last decade of your life. What are you grateful for? Accomplishments, attributes, your character, experiences. Did you travel? Did you accomplish certain things? Where are you at in your career, in your life, in your relationships? And just start with gratitude. All right, the second question that you need to ask yourself is what worked? you go through your life and you do stuff. And I think a lot of times people just go through life and they do stuff, they, they act based off of whatever they think is right and whatever's working for them and they just kind of keep going. But do you ever stop and like look back and evaluate what happened over that last period and say, what works for you? You know, a lot of times people don't realize the wisdom that they've accumulated themselves in their own life. And so what works for you? What, what are your strengths and like, how do you leverage them and how do you make the most out of them? And why don't you just do more of that or find the cases where you're really good at that? You know, uh, as a certified coach, one of my favorite questions is like, what's working for you? What, what have you tried and what's worked and why? When were you at your best? Why don't you just keep doing that <laughs> and go back to the way that you were at that time so that you can just continue to experience and live life in that way, right? So it's, it's really critical that you celebrate the things that you've done that have worked for you and that you take note of them. Uh, it's one of the, my practices that I do on a regular basis. I look at my life and every single day in my journal, I look at my insights. It's one of my factors that I look at when I'm journaling and I say, what are the insights? What are the lessons that I've learned? What are the ideas that I've had about life and, and what I think is important and what I think uh, works for me and what makes sense for me? So ask yourself that question, what has worked for you? Now, number three is ask yourself, what did I learn? Now, this one is super important because when you think about the challenges and difficulties that you've experienced in your past decade, what happened in that past decade, 
you probably went through some difficult things. You know, nobody's gonna go through 10 years and it's gonna be all sunshine and rainbows and pink ponies and unicorns, right? That just, it, it doesn't happen. That's not how life works. You go through some difficulties. And so what are the things that maybe you were trying and striving to go after, but you weren't able to accomplish? And why? Like, what did you learn that didn't really work for you? What did you learn that certain challenges, you maybe you went through challenging, you learned something about yourself, or you learned that you need certain things, or you need to focus on certain things, or certain things are important to you, or certain things are not important to you, right? There's so much wisdom that you have in your life that if you just look at it with a critical eye and you just kind of think about it, you'll actually realize that there's so much that you can extract from that. So ask yourself, what did I learn in this last 10 years? And if you're not writing like pages and pages on your journal, you're not really looking at your life in the right way. So one bonus tip for you is, you know, when I tell people to do this, they're like, how can you think about 10 years? Like that's such a long time. Well, ideally you've been going through each year as the years have gone by and you've been doing a review in your journal. And so you can go back to those and then you look at all of them, right? But obviously uh, you can't go back in time and do that if you haven't done that practice already. So what I'll recommend for you to do is actually just like look at your calendar and look at the major milestones that you've passed in your life. Another, another quick tip is to look at your camera roll or to look at your photo gallery. So uh, if you use a photos app, a lot of times they'll, they'll have chronologically listed all of your photos. Like just do a quick scroll through and see like, where were you? What were you doing? What happened? If you've got kids, you know, you see the kids and how the kids have grown up and stuff. It, it's, it's incredible to see what happens over 10 years. And so there are a couple different places where you can see and if how, how that effect has played out. And you know, it's your calendar, it's a photos app and ideally also in your journal as well. All right, so we talked about the past, right? The last 10 years and gave you some tips for how to come up with all of that information and that data. Well, now let's look forward. Let's use the time skip as a tool for us to imagine our future. So I also want you to ask three questions to yourself as you think about the future of your life. So put yourself in the mindset, imagine it's 2030, okay? Time skip, boom. 2,000 years later. <laughs> like, what does your life look like? That's question number one. What does my life look like after 10 years? Like your ideal, just like unbelievably successful dream life where you're just in complete reverence and gratitude and thankful that your life turned out this way. What does your life look like? What does your life look like? Look, like describe it vividly in detail with you know pages and pages in your journal or your notebook just like go off and say what is the quality of your life what is the quality of your relationships how are you physically and emotionally and spiritually and you know what is your impact on the world and your career and just your finances talk about every aspect of your life and detail it out and just geek out and imagine and, and just setting that intention that alone could be something that is very powerful in transforming your life because whether you realize it or not, you've set your subconscious mind on this path of, of having that kind of goal, that, that compass driving you in that direction. So what does your life look like? That's the first question. The second question is how are you going to get there? It's incredibly exciting to think that you can architect your journey you can architect your life. You can design it. You can say, this is how I want my life to be. And I'm moving in that direction to achieve that thing. Now, how are you going to do that? What steps do you need to take? And then it's a simple matter of working backwards, right? If we said 2030, you want to be doing this or earning this or, you know, living this certain kind of life or having this certain kind of relationship or whatever it is, work backwards. <laughs> You're in 2020 now, or we're about to be. How, how do you get there? Well, in 2022, I need to be there. And in 2025, I need to be there, right? Set milestones for yourself on your, and in your life for that decade. And, and think about what your life could or should look like and the path that, and the journey that it's gonna take for you to get there. Now, one other thing that you wanna think about as you're going through this journey is what are you doing differently? Or what are you going to do differently? You know, we talked about kind of what works for you in the past. And we also talk about what lessons you've learned in the past as well. So how are you gonna apply that going forward in your life and thinking about 
what changes you can make. And again, this is the time, this is your opportunity, your chance to say, I'm gonna do things differently. Like this is a whole new chapter of my life and I'm going to just, I'm gonna change it up. It's gonna be something, I'm gonna live life like I've never lived it before because I know that this is it. This is my chance to make life meaningful. So think to yourself, how are you going to change? What's gonna be different? And the last question that you need to ask yourself is who are you going to become on that journey? When, when we think about success, a lot of times we just think about success as this end state, this uh, achievement. But for many people, the achievement in and of itself is actually empty. Like it's just a, a milestone, it's a marker, it's, it's a signal of progress, it's a metric that you're moving against or you're tracking against, but the reality of the situation is who you become as a result of your journey is more important than the destination itself. Because if you become someone who achieves those certain things, then you can become someone who can do even more. So what are the skills that you need to acquire? What's the knowledge that you need to acquire? What classes do you need? What mentors do you need? What coaches do you need? What support structures and systems and, and support groups and friends and, and, and accountability partners? And there's so many ways for you to shape who you are and who you want to become and who you're going to be on this journey. And so I invite you to join me on this journey as we go on our journeys together. That's the whole thing. That's the whole purpose of this channel is for all of us to go on our journey together. It's a lab, right? It's nerd life lab. We're gonna try stuff. We're gonna see what works, what works for us and share that with each other. It's a, we experiment, we just try stuff, see what works, keep working on it. But the whole point is we go on our journey together. All right, y'all, that wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you liked it. If so, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please do so right now and share this video with a friend who needs to hear the message that they can make this decade the best decade of their lives. And remember guys, every hero has a journey. So take ours together. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. That's how we do things on the channel. Everything's on the fly, you know? Yes. I'm recording. I'm recording. Get out of the shop. Get out of the shop. Get. Get. Out. Out.